I rolled up to the intersection and stopped at the light and it was it was red and the cars on either side were just starting to go and I thought, wow, I timed that just a little bit off. And I sat there and I waited my turn and I waited my turn and I waited my turn. I, I just wanted to go straight across, not turn right, so I figured it'd be a minute or so and all the cars from my right went and all the cars from my left went and then the turn lanes from the right and the left went and then the turn lane facing me went and then it wasn't my turn. All the cars from the right and all the cars from the left started going again until they all went. And then the turn lane from the right and then the turn lane from the left and then the turn lane facing me. And it still wasn't my turn. And then the cars from the right and the cars from the left and the turn lane from the right and the turn lane from the left and the turn lane in front of me. And it still wasn't my turn. Six changes of the light I sat through as patiently as I possibly could getting more annoyed every second and realizing that my frustration level didn't change that light's foul cycle one iota. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast, and I just want you to ask yourself the question, how often do I allow things in my life to frustrate me to the point that I'm ready to scream like a little kid not getting candy? All the while knowing that my impatience, my frustration, my annoyance with whatever it is that I'm not getting my way on really doesn't change anything. The rest of the world doesn't care that I'm impatient. The rest of the world doesn't care that I'm not getting my way. No one else is going to stop long enough to go, hey, that light didn't change for you. Poor you. No one's going to hold a party for me or 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 make a cake for me because the light didn't change and no one else cares. In fact, the people behind me were honking at me as if it was my fault. What was I going to do? Drive through it on red? Get hit by all these other people who apparently legally have the right of way? Get the first ticket? No, I don't think so. I'm going to sit here as impatiently as I can because I can't do anything about it except listen to you honk at me. There are going to be things in every level of our life the pour over that you ordered at the coffee shop that they forgot to pour over because they served the next customer and the next and the next and they never actually started it even though they told you it'd be a five minute wait here you are 15 20 minutes later and it isn't even started yet because the hot water's not on top of the coffee grounds and maybe it's that special thing you like them to do to your sandwich where they leave off that one ingredient and add on the other one and well, they forgot to do that too so now you're running late getting back from lunch because they had to remake it or they had to start over, or now your food is at your table and you realize, I can't eat it like that. See, these are the little frustrations in life that we have, and sometimes we have those with our employees or our teammates, or better yet, with ourselves. You ever been impatient with yourself? You think, I need to make this change in my life. I've got to do something different about it. I have to stop doing it like this and Start doing it like that. I, I haven't been focused on this enough. I really need to be focused on that more. And then you realize, while I'm trying to focus on those things, that it's taking away from the daily activities that I'm supposed to be focused on. The reason we train a lion with a four-legged stool or even a three-legged stool is because they have the ability to focus on two things. But when you throw that third one in the mix, they're totally done. Look it up. It's that one extra distraction. It's that one thing they weren't quite ready for. In leadership, that one thing should be delegated. That one thing should be the one that we get a grasp of. We understand what it is, but we don't take the time to focus on it right now. We either delegate it to a later time in the calendar or we delegate it to someone else to handle. But the other two things should be our top priorities. Have you taken the time to ask yourself the question, what are my top two priorities? What should be getting my time and attention? If I only have 40 hours in a week or 50 or 60, however you dedicate your week, what are the things that I absolutely have to do in those 40, 50 or 60 hours? What are the things that only I can do and nobody else can? Because the impatience, the frustration usually comes when you're trying to do something out of your bailiwick or trying to control something beyond your control. Maybe you should delegate it and get back to focusing on your priorities. If you don't like driving in traffic, schedule your day in a way that you can drive when there's not traffic. If you can't do anything about that, go a little early, go a little late. 
But don't let impatience and the inability to control the world around you drive you to a place where you're ineffective. Because that doesn't pay off well for anybody. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. For Tell It Like It Is TV, have a blessed day. Thank you.